All kinds of modern, amazing things were happening at the beginning of the 20th century, especially in the United States of America. And, and the movies and Hollywood were one of those things that we kind of, uh, I think, have lost track of how, what a quantum shift watching movies uh, represented for the experience of life. Um, sure, there, there had been actors and plays before, but um, the, the, first of all, the, the, the glut of entertainment that suddenly existed and the almost phantasmagorical quality of watching real people moving around that were in front of you but in some nether world in film and they were really in London or, 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 or India or, or uh, the Yukon or whatever. The, 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 and, and, and time was suddenly changed that went from childhood to adulthood. Everything about the cinema was, uh, we have to understand what a huge change that was and, and how, how mutable it seemed to make reality. So you take that, that the, the fact of cinema, TV, video, everything we now for five generations have taken as the way things are. So that, and it, that gave, us, gave us, and especially Americans, obviously French people and English people as well, but this, this idea that, that reality was mutable. Then, on top of that, and with that, you have this, this uh, celebrity culture uh, where, where celebrity itself is, uh, th there are, by orders of magnitude, suddenly more celebrities. There were, you know, in the 19th century and earlier, there were, there were famous people, but a few of them. And, and, uh, uh, and, 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 and now there were hundreds and then eventually thousands of famous people who were now famous for pretending to be somebody else, actors. That was a strange new condition. And, and so uh, for a long time, for much of the 20th century, uh, people looked up to, to, to movie stars because they seemed to have real potency in this world where uh, individuals seemed more and more part of a mass. Here, here were the people, because they were famous and because we watched them and stared at them and dreamed about them, were, 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 the, the, were like superheroes or, or demigods. So by the end of the 20th century or before the end of the 20th century, who wouldn't, if you're a, a, an American uh, steeped in this movie and then television culture, want to be famous? Maybe there's no reason for you to be famous, but my God, only famous people have real agency in the world. So uh, we got to, to that where, where fame is its own uh, end. Um, you also, again, uh, there's advertising everywhere, but advertising and the advertising industry were really an American invention, starting way back in the 1800s when, when uh, for instance, uh, the political candidate, presidential candidate William Henry Harrison was the first marketed, advertised presidential candidate. He, he was this, this rich guy who they wanted to rebrand as a humble guy who'd grown up in a log cabin, so log cabins became his 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 icon, his, his, his branding symbol, and they made real big ones and little ones and, and liquor and, 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 and facial creams in, in log cabin containers, and they made chants and songs, and he won by a landslide over a guy who was actually of humble origins. So uh, advertising as part of this fantasy industrial complex that is so American and so defining of America uh, has, has, become, uh, has been a big uh, part of what we're talking about as well. Disneyland, uh, I love Disneyland, uh, but, but it, it, it became, when it was created in the 1950s, uh, not just as a little amusement park to, to promote Walt Disney's animated films, but as this other version of reality that was more, that was r real in the, it was there, you could go there and buy things at these old fashioned shops on Main Street USA with actors, but they were selling you stuff. Uh, what's, what happened in Disneyland starting in 1955 did not stay there. And that Main Street USA most of all became a kind of model for how you build shopping centers, how you build uh, suburbs, how you theme everything uh, uh, from restaurants to hotels to, to, to shops to clubs. So uh, the, the, the Hollywood idea and, and what came before in pop culture and what came after and, and as it expanded to sort of subsume all of American life 
is 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 a is a big part of 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 how we as Americans have become so iffy about telling what's fake from what's real, what's true from what's false. Thank you.